And pe some people think it's like a little immature like, or, or undignified to wear a digital watch, but I much prefer a digital watch because it tells me what time it is. You know, if like, it's just, it's so straightforward. You know, it's like, what time is it, digital watch? Oh, it's 8.45 or whatever. Like, thanks, digital watch. Take five. It's like, it's like, a, it's, like a, it's a level transaction. It's not playing games. I feel like a normal watch, you know, it might look beautiful, but it's playing games with me. It's like a puzzle. I don't want, I don't want a puzzle. But I want to know the time. I don't want to have to figure out a fucking puzzle <laughs> where the prize that I win for solving the puzzle is knowing the time. Because <laughs> that's how I feel about a regular watch. It's like, what time is it, regular watch? <laughs> Why don't you figure it out for yourself, motherfucker? <laughs> no. No. Why don't you figure it out? Why don't you figure it out when your ass is sitting in that oval box thinking about what an asshole you are? You get in the oval box until you've learned a lesson. You got that regular watch. You got that analog watch. Yeah, my neighbors don't love me. Oh, damn it. He's fighting with his watch again. Why didn't he just get a digital? You can get a digital, too. After this show, you might, now you have a regular watch, I see. That's a classy watch, but now you're thinking maybe I want to get a digital. Can you get both? Of course you can. You have two, two wrists. You can get one on each hand, and then you'll really impress the ladies. They'll be like, that guy really knows the time. He's ambitimbertus. I think, that's the, I think that's the future of timekeeping, having both. But if you buy the digital, you must keep in mind that when they sell it to you, the biggest selling point I don't know why this is, but the biggest selling point is how far underwater it could go. <laughs> and they're really intense about that. Like, I got this watch, 1,000 meters, 1,000 meters underwater. It's like, well, that's great, sir, but seeing how I'm pretty much a human being <laughs> and not that much of a fucking submarine, <laughs> I don't want that watch. <laughs> and even if I was a submarine, that watch would never fit on me. So I'd be like, boom, boom, I'd be like a big old submarine. Then I gotta take it to the wristband guy and get the wristband substantially altered. <laughs> then I'm, what, I'm waiting another week? I don't wanna wait a week, I wanna watch today. <laughs> Although to be fair to you, sir, I will admit that a lot of submarines probably have like a, uh, like a robotic arm for conducting deep underwater experiments. And I can admit that given that that were the case, that that watch might fit perfectly on, 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 the, ro on the robot arm. So I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Put it in the little oval box. But then I got home and I just felt troubled. You know, I was walking around my apartment like, no, damn it. Mm -mm. This joke's not over. So I went back to the store. I said, listen, man. I don't want this watch. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to go that far underwater. He goes, what about this one? 500 meters, 500 meters. I go, you don't get it, do you, pal? If I'm ever more than three meters below the surface of the water, guess what I'm doing? I'm drowning to death. And I don't give a shit if my Casio works anymore. I mean, would anybody care at that point? Is anybody that like anal about their stuff always working perfectly? They would get upset. They'd be like, oh, great. I can't believe I'm drowning! This is great! Oh, I wonder what time it is! <laughs> what? No way! Ah! Did anything else go wrong today? Sharks, maybe!